guys, thanks for checking out RobJacksonStudio.com. I want to, we're, we're uh, shooting a video today. I want to feature one of my young students, John Provost, who is, uh, although he's still in high school, he can basically melt your face and my face. Uh, so we're going to be doing some jamming here in a minute. I want to encourage all you guys that are out surfing the net, trying to figure out how to play guitar, even if you're not in Nashville, Tennessee, where I'm located, and where I have been teaching for many, many years, even if you're not in Nashville, if you're having a hard time finding basic guitar instruction, uh, John is a good example of what can happen if you actually get your basic chops together starting at ground zero. It'll take you a year or two to work your way up, but at that point you'll be a pro level player if you're practicing the right stuff. And it's hard to get on the net and try to figure out how to play because it's disorganized and there's some great instructional videos on the net for free. However, if you don't have a pretty high chop level, you're not even going to be able to make sense of that stuff. So I'm going to use John here today as an example of just, he's only been with me, really had about one year of active lessons and he's very talented and he plays a lot. But you will see what just working on good, solid, basic skills, what it will do for you. And that's what this is about today. Also, I'd like to encourage you, if you do not live in the Nashville area, to contact me anyway. I now have several students from as far away as maybe 10 hours driving time from Nashville that come into town three or four times a year for extended lessons. The way that I teach is very focused. And if you're doing your homework, uh, you can still make great progress just with two or three lessons a year even if you are doing what you need to do. Um, and I can coach you long distance as well. So anyway, uh, just contact me if you're having a hard time finding a teacher. I may be able to help you no matter where you are. Okay? We're going to get started here. We're going to go ahead and try a little bit of Freebird. I know some of you hot shots out there think, oh, everybody can play Freebird. Well, I've been in Nashville since 1974, and this is a town where the best guitar players in the world are starving to death. Um, there's guys around here working at Burger King that can smoke anybody in L.A. no problem. There's lots of guys like that, and I don't know personally anybody can actually play the solo at the end of Freebird. I have never even been able to figure it out, and I can figure out anything using my digital machines that slow stuff down to half speed. I still have not been able to figure out all the licks in Freebird. John listened to it and figured it out by ear, can play it perfectly, and then we're also going to do some jamming too, so you can just see how well he improvises. And John came to me a couple of years ago. He went through books one and book two, uh, books that I have written for my students to use as kind of the required text. He went through those books in about five weeks and then moved away for a year and when he came back he was off the charts and had another year of lessons with me and now he's really off the charts. So just to keep him under control, just so that there's not too many really hot licks that could potentially set the building on fire, I'm keeping this right here in case we need it, dude. So, like, don't melt my face too bad, okay? Alright, here we go. We're going to crank it up.
again, this is John Provost. He's uh, just turned 16 from Nashville, Tennessee. He's one of my students. If any of you hot young bands that are on the verge of getting a record contract need a good hot lead guitar player, he's your man. Or if any of you guys in Skinner need another guitar player, he's your man. Um, we just wrote a little tune. Uh, I'm going to show John's improvisational skills. Now, you guys are surfing the net trying to figure out how to play Back in Black. This is where it's at, man. You should be able to make up a solo off the top of your head in any key. If you can't do that, you're not a guitar player. And I can teach you how to do that. Anyway, here's a song we just wrote in the key of E minor. John's just going to totally improvise this a song we wrote about 30 seconds ago, and it's called Your Girlfriend is Butt Ugly. Thank <laughs> you. 